It's so hot. Really? So hot. <laughs> I, I, I'm sure. <laughs> okay, so in this video, we're going to talk about five things that you have to know about living in Mission Viejo, and if you can't handle these five things... It's not for you. You really should not live here. So stay tuned. What's up, everybody? I'm Sean Azad. And I'm Courtney Azad. And we're with Keller Williams Realty right here in Orange County, California. And if this is your first time on the channel and you want to know everything about working, eating, sleeping, living, and playing in Orange County, don't forget to click on the subscribe button and don't forget to click on the little bell so you're notified every time a new video comes out. Now, we get so many calls from people either looking to buy or sell a home in Orange County, and we absolutely love it. So, what are you thinking about moving to, moving from, or moving within Orange County? Either give us a call, shoot us a text, or send us an email. Or you can reach out to us via WhatsApp. However you want to get a hold of us, we've got your back. When we talk about Mission Viejo being hot, I mean, we're talking as very, very spoiled <laughs> Southern Californians. Very, yes. Uh, I mean, Mission Viejo, its weather is, gr you know, is great. However, you have to understand, Orange County, particularly coastal Orange County, is just... Mm, like yeah. the, the finest of all weather in the entire world. Mm -hmm. So we get, you know, like one or two degree difference in temperature as well as one to two percent difference in humidity mm -hmm. can make all the difference in the world to us. Yes. That's the that's the wimps that we are. Yeah. So Mission Viejo, because it's kind of on the north slash eastern side of the fly freeway, mm -hmm. doesn't have that sea breeze, doesn't really, you know, it kind of can get a bit warmer in the summertime. A little bit stagnant. Yeah. And so that's where, you know, again, if you're, Again, a wimp like mm -hmm. we are, mm -hmm. you start to feel that heat. Yeah, it is a, an interesting phenomenon. I feel like when you live in Southern California, you notice the weather more. Whereas if you're anywhere else, <laughs> you know, for example, we were in the mountains recently and it was freezing because it's winter time right now, and we did not think it was that cold. No, because your expectation snow was on the ground. Yeah, your so it was cold. It was <laughs> like in the 30s or lower. Yeah. No, at one point it was, it was almost zero. It was four degrees. Yeah. yeah. And then, but I wasn't cold while I was there because my expectation. My hands were cold though. At that. That, that's true. But I mean, my expectation was, oh, it's going to be cold. So Yeah, then, you're just bracing yourself for it. Yeah. And then, but whenever you are in Southern California and you just don the cloak of being a total wimp when it comes yeah, to Yeah, so weather. you can like walk, you know, when you walk through that orange curtain. Yeah. Well, yeah, no, uh, all, of, all of Southern California for well, weather. Well, I mean, when you, I mean, when you're in La Mesa, like it was <laughs> hot. It was hot. Legitimately pretty hot. Like Michigan Viejo doesn't get that hot. No, it does. Not that hot. Yeah, it does. No. But whatever. I mean, even La Mesa, if you talk about the rest of the world. La Mesa's in San Diego. If you talk about, it's East San Diego. If you talk about the rest of the world. Home of the <laughs> Chargers. Rest in peace. <laughs> if you talk about the rest of the world, La Mesa is not that hot. So. <laughs> I don't yeah. know. I remember going there and it that was. That was that one And time. the movie theater was that like, was the was air conditioning broke down. It was so, it was 115 degrees. That was one day. It was no. a record. And this it was, was like, enough to sear it into my mind. This was it was like 20 years. Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay, so that's one thing. But that's it. I mean, so Mission Viejo, it is hotter than maybe some other areas in Orange County. So yes. if you really, really hate heat and you're coming beca coming to Orange County because you want the most pristine weather. And you're like, I'm never going to use the air conditioner ever. Yeah, then you need to live in Newport. Yeah. Yeah, because, <laughs> yeah, you know, you are going to be, I mean, you know, sorry to break it to you. In the summertime, you probably are going to be turning on the air conditioner. Yeah, unless you're used to, you know, Las Vegas heat or something like that. Or Florida heat. Or Florida. Well, I don't know. To Even, get that humidity, that's that, that's it's true. Brutal. But it, yeah, it does get hot in Mission Viejo. So yeah, yeah. So there's that. Okay, and then another con is that you know Mission Viejo, the traffic around there can get a little bit, kind of a nightmare. That part of the yeah. So that, and this is kind of like a slash of traffic slash location, right? So yeah. Mission Viejo itself is kind of veering kind of farther out of the way. It's still not bad. I mean, it's still light right along the five freeway. Um, however, it you know where it is, you have these big streets, and they do a good job for what they are. But still, mm -hmm. you can get that traffic back up. I mean, you have these huge, just massive roads that <laughs> that are just bull these boulevards that take you to the five freeway and or to the Portola Highway. Mm -hmm. But yeah, it's it does it can get backed up, and so you can experience a bit of that traffic for sure. Yeah, because lots of parts of Mission Viejo aren't 
as centrally located as say maybe Irvine. So you might be driving a little bit more to your house if you live there. Yeah, like so say so you have some Mission Viejo, that, like a lot of Mission Viejo kind of hugs the five freeway basically. Mm -hmm. uh, so, but then you do have that bit, like especially like Lake Mission Viejo and stuff where you're going a f a several miles down the road to get to your ha house. So that's where you're living. Mm -hmm. And yeah, that, that, that traffic can back up for sure. Yeah, for sure. Okay, and then another, you know, thing that you need to know is that there can be a lot of HOAs in Mission Viejo. Can be, there are a well, lot of, yeah. yeah. So I HOAs. Guess it depends. So they, explain, explain, because there can be neighborhoods that have HOAs and the neighborhoods that don't. Sure. So basically, Mission Viejo, like pretty much all of South Orange County, is HOA central. This is kind of where... So this is a homeowners association. Yes, and, that's, that and that's where you have a governing body that basically kind of helps maintain order and... In the say, grounds. In the grounds and yeah, that kind of thing. Yeah, and maybe because it has a community pool or something like that. Yeah, and you might have someone overseeing saying, you know what, you can't do this. You know, like you have certain rules about what you can do with your house to an extent. I mean, obviously you have your zoning rules, which you have everywhere, but then HOAs are a bit, an added layer to that. And so some people, when they go, when they buy a house... They go, I don't want to have any oversight at all, right? And so, for instance, case in point, when I actually, our family owned a house in, you know, kind of reminds me in Hawaii, where we had a house in Kahana Ridge, where basically there was an HOA, and we decided to paint the house a certain color. Well, the HOA didn't like that, so it wasn't part of their palette. So they, we kind of got fines and all this stuff, and I just remember my, my father getting super frustrated, like, this is my house. Well, how can they tell me what the paint color is? And that's... Well, when you buy into an HOA, you can have, you know, that might be some oversight that you have on your own home. So if you just absolutely don't like that at all, fortunately in Mission Viejo, there are some areas that don't require, that don't have HOA per se. So that's where you got to reach out to us if that's really important to you. I mean, otherwise, again, HOAs aren't necessarily bad. Yeah. Because obviously, you know, they do maintain order. It does kind of keep things a bit cleaner and that kind of thing. So yeah, they so can be yeah, nice. Yeah, like, you know, the, the trees and the landscape, it's all nicely tended. It's all, it, it is nice to have, you know, a community pool and to have amenities like that. That's one of the reasons people like HOAs. Yeah. But there's obviously, you know, pros and cons. For sure. Yeah. So number four on this list, and this is goes along with much of South County, is that a lot of the homes, because they're in HOAs, they look very cookie cutter. Yes. So they look, if they're a different shade of beige, similar, this is a big criticism of Irvine, is that, you know, all the homes look the same, everything looks the same. Similar in Mission, Mission Viejo can be similar like that. Yeah, I would say it's not probably as bad as some other spots, mm -hmm. but Mission Viejo certainly has that, you know, tracked feel, right, mm -hmm. where you have these properties that are developed at the same time, and so therefore there were different models, but there were like four different models maybe, and the colors are sli slightly varied. And so what you have is that these houses can look pretty similar because they're mm -hmm. all built, you know, basically, in, yeah, similar time frame. Yeah, and then I would say in some of the newer areas of Mission Viejo, I feel like they've done a better job of yeah. make, even though it is in you know, attract homes, they've kind of learned, okay, let's make them look different. <laughs> So they don't all look the same. Yes. But, right. I mean, it depends on where you are. Again, that's why you got to reach out to us so that, you know, if you really, really hate that cookie-cutter feel, we can tell you, you know, where um, are certain spots that don't really have that. Yeah, and, I mean, I would say that, yeah, exactly. And that's where one of those things where it's kind of funny because you see this evolution take place, right? I guess built in then back in the 50s, not in Mission Viejo, but, like, you know, other areas where, the, like, the suburbs were first being built out. I remember there's stories of actually where someone was – drunk and he walked in the wrong house because it looked identical like, to his house which is only like one or two doors down and he just walked in the wrong place and so what you're seeing now is that evolution where they're really trying to even though it it is similar floor plans and stuff the facade's a little bit different like they could they chew try to vary it a bit actually a really good city for this is Ladera Ranch. Well, it's actually not technically a city, but... And it used to be part of Mission Viejo. Yeah, and so they've done a really nice job of mm -hmm. creating that facade. Like, there's slight differences, but it doesn't feel so cookie-cutter. Yeah. But Mission Viejo is kind of that in-between, where it's not mm -hmm. so uniform that that's like only one model completely across the board. But, again, you, you do have some... You know, you do have variance to an extent, but that's still pretty cookie-cutter. Yeah, it's kind of suburbia, right? Yeah. I mean, so what that's it what it is, yeah. <laughs> Okay, and then our last, you know, Five. fact that you have to know, and if you don't like it, you should definitely avoid Mission Viejo, is that a lot of the homes uh, in Mission, not a lot, some of the homes in Mission Viejo are on the older side. I'll say a decent amount of them yeah, are. Yeah, so if you if you don't want an older home, and we're talking 1950s. No, right? no, I would say 1970s. Oh, oh, okay, 1970s and up. If you don't like that, I mean, 
there's a decent amount in Mission Viejo that's like that. So. Yeah, I would say in Mission Viejo, you had like, I would say between 1970s to 1990s really is where you had a lot of this development taking place there. And you do have some that's a little bit newer, but that's kind of seemingly the bulk of it is that 70s to 90s kind of year build. And so for South Orange County, people think, oh, I want to get like something brand new. New construction in Mission Viejo is actually... I don't even know. I can't think of... Well, unless you're talking about Rancho, Rancho Mission, Mission Viejo. Yeah. But that's... I guess that's technically Mission Viejo, but not really. Yeah, it's not really. kind of like a centrist, census district. Yeah, so. so it's kind of like, you know, you have Ladera Ranch, you have Cota de Casa, you have Rancho Mission Viejo. These are areas that are their own kind of... I guess they technically used to be part of Mission yeah, Viejo. Yeah, but, but I, that, mean, I mean, that's not what you think of as far as yeah. Mission Viejo. And if those are kind of areas you're thinking about, let us know, because we can kind of point you to those where you're not... If that's what you're looking for, it's like newer construction... Mission Viejo really isn't that for you. Yeah, for sure. So that's it. That's our video. Now, if you find that really cool property that online that you want to see or want to check out, you got to reach out to us. So either give us a call, shoot us a text, or send us an email. Or you can reach out to us via WhatsApp. However you want to get a hold of us, we've got your back.